gorgeous! Today I am taking you along and getting ready with me. I'm going to show you how I did my makeup, which is really simple. I'm calling it like just a fresh face for fall. I used a couple new products. I used a new foundation that I've never used before and used some new brushes from Zoeva that I ordered um, that I'm sharing it all with you along the way, kind of giving you sort of my thoughts as I go along. Uh, but I'm also going to just, so I'm going to show you my makeup and then I'm going to show you my outfit. We're not doing anything too crazy today. We're going to the outlets and doing some shopping. So it should be a lot of fun. So if you want to see um, how I got this look, then just keep watching. Let's get started. I have a new foundation and some new brushes I'm going to try out with you. The brushes I've tried one other time, the foundation is brand new and it was a big suggestion from you. Can I say you anymore? Okay, let's get started. I'm going to do the eyes first because I always do the eyes first. I've already primed. What was that? I've already primed, but I'm going to go in with a base of some sort. I'm going to go in with this one. This is the... Uh, no, I don't want to use that one. Do I want to use that one? Sure, why not? This is my Eye Basics in Buff from Laura Mercier. I love these. I love these so much and they are so underrated. And I am going to be doing my sort of underrated products or products nobody ever mentions. I don't know if it's going to be before this one or after this one. I'm going to be blending that out with, this is a Zoeva 142 concealer brush. It's too small to be a concealer brush for me, so I'm going to use it for this. This is the very first time I've used it. So far, I really like it. It blends things out really quickly and really easily. And like I said, I'm doing something really simple with the eyes, so I'm not too worried about making something really perfect. So that's a good one. I'm going to put that in this, to the side so I can clean it up. I have used some of these brushes before, but not all of them. I'm going to go in with the Zoeva 234. It's just called a Luxe Smoky Shader Brush, and this is Woodwinked from MAC. This is the very first eyeshadow I ever purchased. I actually purchased this one, an Olive, I think it's called. Sumptuous Olive. Those are the two uh, first shadows I've ever purchased from MAC. I am just going to pop this onto my lid, kind of patting this in place. I don't like that they're all white hairs because that means that they're gonna get they're gonna show that they're really dirty, so I'm gonna have to wash them a lot. Okay. I'm going to go in with this one. I've used this one before. This is a 228 Luxe Crease Brush. And I'm just going to, okay, these are shedding a little bit. It's kind of on my nerves. I'm just going to blend that. I'm really not going precise at all with the eyes, not even a little bit. And for the crease, I'm going to go with the bronzer I'm using today, which is the NYX Matte Bronzer in the color Medium, the shade Medium, I should say. I'm just going to pop this into the crease. That looks good enough. And then, I see, for the crease, not the crease, the brow bone, I'm going to go in with Venus from the Naked Basics palette right over here. Use this little tiny brush. This is really tiny. Detailed shader brush. <laughs> I would zoom you in a little bit more, but I'm not really doing a whole lot, so um, there's like no real detail, you know? Hmm, this is a really small brush and it really packs the color pretty concentrated. And then I'm going to take this um, angle brush. This is the Wing Liner 317. I'm just going to use the black and all I'm going to do with that is just kind of darken the base of my lashes because I'm going to be putting on some corner lashes and um, I just like to darken that. A little tiny bit. Now I'm just going to curl these babies. I per I professionally. I apologize if it seems like I'm rushing. I'm really not. It's this. Blame this. Mm-hmm. Mm -mm -mm. My favorite coffee ever. I'm going to apply a couple coats of mascara. First coat is going to be this one. This is my telescopic mascara. I'm just going to do one coat of that. And then I'm going to go in with the... Oh, 
what is this called? The uh, Maybelline Rocket. Are you for real? Ugh. Forgive me. Forgive. This is the Maybelline Rocket Volume Express. And I'm going to do one or two coats of this. Depends on how I'm feeling. Sometimes I really, I don't know why, when I'm doing a really easy, basic eye look, I love that look of where it looks like you only have like five lashes, but they're really long. Do you know what I'm talking about? Usually it's achieved with falsies. They just look like that. But sometimes, I don't know, I think that that looks so good with a really like bare eye look. I really like it. And you could do, of course, the same look with no lashes, but since we are going so minimal, I figured we would do some lashes. And these are literally ra random corner lashes that I cut up. I think these were my Ardell Wispies. And I just cut off the uh, corners because I like wearing just corners sometimes. I don't know. I just feel like they're much easier to wear. Much, okay, let's get this open. Much, much easier to apply. They don't bother you. You don't even feel that they're on. And um, I don't know. And give you that like lifted eye effect. So what I'm gonna do is put a little bit of glue, maybe just my Revlon Lash Precision. Let these dry, let it get tacky for like a minute. That's the key to applying lashes and uh, not get so frustrated and start ripping them off. <laughs> first things first, you want to find the right glue for you. I've tried every glue. I've tried the glue from House of Lashes. I've tried every duo there is. I've tried every glue out there. I always come go back to this one. I don't know what it is. I just feel like it works well. It keeps my eyelashes on a long time and when it gets tacky, it just perfectly like grips a uh, grips grips on grips grips onto my lash and it just works so the first thing is finding the right glue for you a lot of people like the duo better it's all preference and then letting the glue get tacky because as soon as you put it on you don't want that glue to slide you want it to sit as soon as you put them on you want them to just stay put so let it get tacky for a minute it just to me anyway it's key to keeping your sanity when it comes to applying lashes because then look just like that. They just stay put. All right, I'm gonna do the same thing on the other eye. All right, and while those dry, I think we'll just do the rest of the face. Now I'm gonna go in with my Laura Mercier uh, foundation primer. This is the Radiance one, my favorite. If you love a do, and if you've got dry skin, especially right now during these beautiful beautiful cold months that are coming again coming uh gonna be amongst us soon then this is the primer for you i'm just blending this in with my this is a sigma tapered kabuki look how shiny i look <laughs> i like trying to put myself in the lights okay I'm gonna go in with my Armani corrector in number two. I just got a new tube. Well, not just, I got it like a month or so ago and I'm opening it up now and it is like perfection. It just feels like, oh, feels so smooth and awesome. I'm just gonna tap that in with my finger. Okay, for foundation, this is the one you guys have been telling me about for so long, but I've always like not purchased it because I didn't know what shade to get, I, you know, because it's, it's hard to buy a foundation online when you don't know what shade you're going to be. But I went ahead and guessed uh, F200. This is the EX1 Invisiwear Liquid Foundation. This is meant to be perfect for someone with olive skin, which is what I have. I have like a warm olive skin tone and I got the F200. Never tried this before. I literally just got this in the mail this morning and I thought how perfect I'm going to try this on with you. I am going to apply it with a beauty blender. Let's see. Oh, the color looks good. I've never tried this before, but I know a lot of people. Oh, this is much thicker than I thought it was going to be. Wow. Okay. I thought this was gonna be much thinner in consistency, but it's not. Okay, color seems to be good. If any of you have tried it, you'll have to uh, let me know. I'm going to blend this in with a beauty blender. 
Just pet the simple. Oh, that's beautiful. Color wise, it's like <laughs> perfect. So that's good. That's really good. Wow, I'm really, really impressed. It uh, doesn't seem to be full, full coverage, at least not the amount I used. It's, I would say, medium to full coverage. It's pretty thick, and if you, I'm assuming you could probably add a little bit more to the areas you really want to cover up. But so far, that's really beautiful. I really like that. If any of you have used it, let me know down below what your thoughts are, because I love to know. But so far, I like the way it blends, I like the coverage, and I like the um, tone and cover, so that's good. I'm going to let my foundation just sit for a few minutes, and while that happens, I'm going to take that same black color with an angle brush, and I'm just going to conceal the lash band. That's all. I'm not really doing anything precise. Okay, I'm going to go in with concealer. I think the color looks good. I think I would need, hmm, I think the uh, the F100 was the only other color that was lighter than this. Um, might have been too light, but I think if there was something in between, it probably would have matched me just a tiny bit better because although it looks like a good match, you know when you can tell something is a little bit dark? But we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I'm going to use my NARS Custard Radiant Creamy Concealer in Custard. You guys know I love this. And I'm going to use it now before it starts to get too thick to use in the winter. Because my under eyes are so bone dry that I can hardly use anything in the winter. Any concealer. It doesn't look cakey. What I tend to use is my Fit Me Concealer because that definitely fits my needs in those cold months. And I'm going to do a little bit of Prep and Prime and Light Boost just to highlight a little bit. I really like these two together a lot actually. So I'm going to just apply them in the places I'd like to highlight. And then I'm going to use my Beauty Blender just to set everything in place. I'm going to set everything using my Reservoir Cabana and this is a Lux Face Focus brush from Zoeva. I'm just going to set my under eyes with this brush and then I'm going to set the rest of my face with the same powder with a different brush and I have used some of these face brushes before. I still don't know how I feel about them. This is the Lux Face Finish 100. Okay. Ten things just fell. I look really glowy because I've got lights right here pointing in my forehead, but in reality I'm really not that glowy. Okay, let's see if I can contour a little bit using this bronzer and this brush. Because I've never used this brush before. This is the Lux Face Brush 109 from Zoeva. Looks like a nice chisel brush. So let's see. Just using that same NYX bronzer. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hmm. Okay. I think it's a little hard to blend. Okay, I'm forever on the hunt for the perfect um, contour brush, but still haven't found it because a lot of them, I really like the contour brush from Real Techniques, the original one with the pointer one, the pointed tip, but I just don't feel like it contours as precisely as I'd like it to. Like something like this would be perfect, but a lot of them, and apparently even this one, it's hard to blend. I don't know why. It applies the product nicely, but it's just not easy to blend. So. I don't know. I don't think I like it for the cheekbones, but maybe it's better for the nose. I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to switch to a different bronzer. I need something with a little bit more oomph. You know, that is not a bronzer. That's a blush. It was on the wrong drawer. Actually, I think I'm going to go with this Laura Mercier bronzer because it's quite subtle, but it's really beautiful. 
And I'm going to use this brush. This is the 101 Deluxe Face Definer brush. Okay, I really like this brush a lot. That's so far like my favorite face brush, I think. And then for blush, I'm going to go in with this one. This is Ravish from Tom Ford. You don't have to use this particular br blush, of course. Any blush you like will do. I like this sort of, it's, it's hard to describe because it's definitely like a berry tone, but it's not flat, it's not too dark, it's not too red. I just really, really like it. And the brush I'm using is the Zoeva 126 Cheek Brush. I used this already once or twice, and it's okay for a blush. It is okie dokie. Okay, I love that, love that blush. Okay, and then for my highlight, I'm gonna go in with this one. This is an oldie but a goodie. This is MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Soft and Gentle. I have not used this in what feels like years. It's probably been a really long time. I'm actually going to use this in my inner corner as well of my eye just to brighten things up a little and I'm also going to use this of course on the top of the cheekbone but this is a really pretty one this is old and for a highlight brush oh I, I ordered this one separately because I just felt like it looked really cool it is the bamboo 105 highlight brush and I have to say this is probably the softest brush I've ever had in my whole life really nice and I think this is from their vegan line it's very soft really really nice feels really good on the skin okay I'm gonna set my face with my setting spray ah give everything a chance to set and I'm just going to take my L'Oreal Telescopic just to touch my real lashes and my falsy together. And I'm also going to um, do my lower lash line. And for lips, I'm going to do, I'm going to line and fill in my entire lip with my Makeup Forever Aqua Lip in 2C. Line and fill it all in. And then I'm going to go over that with this, um, uh, nude stick in the color Mystic. And that is it. That is the makeup. And now I'm going to just go style my hair. I'm just going to straighten it a little bit. And then I'm going to show you my outfit.